unveiling of evil is reaching new heights as a group in Detroit is planning to reveal a satanic devil statue later this week. Satan is slowly and methodically unveiling himself through a progression of acceptance in our modern day culture, most notably through horror fiction movies. In his book, Monsters from the Id, E. Michael Jones shows that from political and sexual revolutions, we see the emergence of avenging monsters in horror movies. Jones points to Frankenstein during the French Revolution and again to Dracula during the debaucherous orgies of the Victorian England underworld. Fast forward to more recent times and we see the exact same phenomena, except this time we have movie cameras. First, we're introduced to Nosferatu on the silver screen in the 1922 silent film, followed by Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho in 1960. The next generation would spawn an intimate type of evil when the slasher movies of the 1980s turned psychotic serial killers into household names. Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th, Freddy Krueger, Nightmare on Elm Street, and Michael Myers from the Halloween series. The unveiling of the demonic becomes more apparent as these slasher movies follow satanic themes. The first victims are usually engaged in sexual immorality or they're losing their virginity before their deaths, a common sacrificial ritual for satanic high holy days. In today's culture, we see an atheistic and agnostic culture that denies the existence of God and of the devil. Yet demonic themes have become an entire mainstay in the culture with movie titles like Insidious, Sinister, The Conjuring, and the mega-hit TV series American Horror Story. The guilt of a modern culture that has run headlong into moral corruption must be judged. And right now, the culture is choosing Satan and the demonic as their judges. For ChurchMilitant.com, I'm Matthew Pearson.